Hi, I'm Bill Church, Executive Editor of the Herald Tribune, and coming Sunday, a significant topic that doesn't get reported very often. We have Barbara Peter Smith, our health and fitness editor, and who covers aging as one of the true experts in this state. What, what's the topic that you're going to be addressing this Sunday? Well, this is about the graying of AIDS. It's actually, this Sunday marks the 35th anniversary of the first public notice of this mysterious new disease wow. in 1981. And um, as I was reporting this out, I kept getting flashbacks of moments that America yeah. and the world went through and yeah. we've kind of forgotten about it. Uh, the Herald Tribune sent me up to a conference in New York about um, the aging process and different diseases. Mm -hmm. It's a new discipline called geroscience. And I really went up to find about diabetes, which we are going to write right. about. But I was so struck by uh, these AIDS experts who talked about what this generation of survivors has gone through and is going through now. The other thing that I think our readers will be surprised by is the, the very significant number of people who are living with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, who are 50 and over, and the number of new cases that happen to people who are 50 and over. Yeah, that's, it's amazing from that perspective of how you've approached this, Barbara, is I think we all remember the Magic Johnson announcement mm -hmm. in the 1990s and newspapers really struggling with what does this mean, what's the inevitability of it. Uh, as you were researching this, uh, what did you find that really struck you uh, that our readers may not know? Well, we all like to think that the people who survived the AIDS crisis at, and the new cases that came up after this cocktail of antiretroviral drugs was, uh, di was di discovered are the lucky ones, and they are lucky, they're alive, but they're living with a very difficult chronic disease that can make them, their bodies age uh, 15 years more quickly than the normal aging process and also these drugs are no picnic uh, and they have to take them for the rest of their life. What was the reporting like uh, as you took this back to our market? Uh, were you able to find the sources and uh, examples of uh, those who are dealing with this Absolutely. I, I found a lot of really remarkable people who were willing to talk. Not so many people who were willing to have their names and faces mm -hmm. in the paper. Uh, we have one remarkable man, Jack Cox, who um, moved to Sarasota a year ago and he was in San Francisco at the height of the historical unfolding of this disease and uh, is a remarkable man who has a lot of profound things to say about the way this changed his life. Well, thank you, Barbara. Always uh, the work that Barbara does is fascinating and illuminating and this Sunday will be no different. We have much to offer. Our uh, best of prep section runs. Of course, uh, there'll be 7,000 festivals going on and we'll have some coverage, and of course, we'll have some columnists here and there for your enjoyment. <laughs> Follow us always, heraldtribune.com, your iPhone, your iPad, we're everywhere.